Dr. Sarah Jarvis is here. How healthy have you got to be? Because, you know, every now and again I go through these phases and I think mm. I'm going to eat clean. And as Kate said, mm. it's about fresh food as opposed yeah. to processed food. But that's not what we're talking about here. No, absolutely not. We are all in favour of fresh food. But it does not have to be weird and wonderful fresh food. So, for instance, agave syrup. People, apparently clean eaters will have that instead of sugar. You know what? It's still got sugar in it. It's yes. sugar. You know, Himalayan rock Do you know my salt. wife still, made me choose salt. that? My wife made me choose that on Sunday over honey. Well, you can tell her from Good, me I will. that <laughs> sugar. Yes. You can tell her from me that the honey is just as bad as table sugar. All oh, right. Oh, she was right on Hasn't that. Hasn't honey got other good no. stuff in there? Mm. Probably not enough to make us, you know, okay. think but it's Sarah, significantly But Sarah, the thing is, aye, aye, with, aye. The, with the best will in the world, there you are, um, a doctor, a, a person of science, uh, qualifications, whatever, and yet people don't necessarily turn to people like you these days. They're, it is the cult of celebrity. You know, if, if I brought out a cookbook, people would actually think there's some merit in it, wouldn't they? They'd be yeah. Absolutely. The problem we've got is that we've got doctors and we've got dietitians, and what we say really isn't terribly exciting. We say, eat things in moderation, reduce your sugar intake, reduce your salt intake, reduce your saturated fat intake, eat lots more fruit and vegetables. There's only so many ways you can dress that up. So, of course, you then get celebrities or, dare I say it, nutritionists. Dietitians completely different. Dietitians fully qualified absolutely trust their advice. Anyone can call themselves a nutritionist. Sarah, I think it's more than that. I think it's the fact that that message is quite complicated to execute because you've got to find out where the sugar is in the food, you've got to find that, and what people want is something they can latch on to. If I don't eat that, brilliant, I'm sorted. Or if I don't labels. eat that, I've really sorted. That's still, you know what I mean, you want yeah. something that seems to be the answer. But and it's becoming... The other stuff is just... But it's becoming so restrictive. I mean, we've mm. now got a, 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 me a mental health disorder called orthorexia, where your life is ruled by eating properly. And I see young people who aren't necessarily anorexic, they're not necessarily bulimics, so they're not making themselves vomit, mm. they're not binging and purging, and yet their lives are ruled. They cannot, they've got no self-esteem, all their self-esteem yeah. relates to did I eat the right things today? I but think then that's because they're bashed over the head with the message and we're still getting fatter. You can't blame them. Well, you absolutely can if they're getting the wrong message because, you know, mm -hmm. you think you're fine now, but if you don't have enough calcium in your diet, later on in life and you've got osteoporosis, yeah. you've broken a bone, maybe too late. Okay. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you. You definitely gave us the right message this morning.